This is how to replace the starter solenoid on a Honda TRX 300, a 4 Trax 300 four wheeler. This one is a 1988. This will be the same from 88 all the way to 2000. Here is what it looks like. On this machine, when you press the start button all it does is is click or it doesn't hardly even click you can hear the solenoid try to move and nothing happens so I bought a replacement solenoid if you look on line eBay or Amazon there's a a lot of new aftermarket ones they're cheap and the reviews are mixed sometimes they're fine sometimes they stick and if they stick they can burn up your starter motor so I bought an OEM aftermarket or used. I bought an OEM used one, hoping to avoid the that kind of problem. So I've already got the seat off of the machine. There's supposed to be a red plastic cover over the battery. This doesn't have it. You'd need to take that cover off, and then you'd be looking at the battery in the solenoid is here. And it's round, it's in a rubber boot. So, leave the battery there. This has two 10 millimeter nuts on top. Take those off. Pull these terminals back. Here are two rubber fuse holders. Pull them up off the mounting tabs so that you can get in here. Pull the solenoid up out of the boot. And then follow the wire. This wire follow this around and there's a plug I don't know if you can see it here it's a white plug in this metal bracket that has three plugs in it and you need to get that plug unplugged like that and pulled out of the bracket and then the wire runs in behind this solenoid boot so pull the boot off the tab put the wire off there you go there's the old solenoid, okay? So I'm gonna grab the new one and just reverse what I did. Put that wire, tuck that wire in behind the solenoid boot. Push the boot back on the tab. Run this plug in from below. You're coming in from below on this plate that holds the plugs and the connectors. You gotta plug it back in, get it lined up. Push it all the way down until that tab clicks. Okay, and then that's done, that's held. Take the, the solenoid now and reconnect your two terminals. There's a lock washer and then a nut. Same on this side. Lock washer, nut. Push the solenoid down. I have to fight these wires a little bit. The solenoid needs to sit securely in this boot. It helps protect it from vibrations. Okay, this, I put this on, it's in the way. So, see if you can get this moved.
Right, that's better. It needs to come off to the side at a right angle. Okay, now it is. Now push the solenoid down into this rubber boot. You're going to probably have to hold the boot from below and wiggle it. It needs to sit in that boot. It keeps it from rattling around and getting damaged. Make sure that these boots are over the terminals. Right, there's that. And now you can put your fuses back on. They just slip right over these metal tabs. That's all there is to these fuses. Okay, there's that. The wires are pretty well organized. And I'm turn the key on here and hit the start button. There it is, it works great.